Lithium is becoming a much talked about industrial mineral. London and Toronto listed Bacanora Minerals has today released a pre-feasibility study for its Sonora lithium project in northern Mexico. It shines a light on the potential for Bacanora to produce not just lithium, widely used in the growing battery market, but also potassium sulphate for the fertilizer industry. Peter Sacker is Bacanora's chief executive. He joins us now. Peter, welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, first of all, the, the PFS. We're here to talk about the investment case and what you're delivering to uh, investors here. What does the PFS show us? Uh, PFS is a plus or minus 25% study that uh, determines the economics of a mineral deposit. <coughs> we have a very large deposit in Mexico, almost 9 million tonnes of contained lithium carbonate. We just demonstrated that we can build a uh, lithium processing facility for about $240 million dollars. Operating costs around $2,700 a tonne, which puts us at the bottom of the second quartile of operating costs, and generating about $135 million a year of EBITDA once we're in full production. Okay, so from here you do what? The, the feasibility study, feasibility. don't you? But it sounds like you've got much of the economics already, already in. Yeah, so we've been working on this for the last couple of years. We've already built a pilot plant in Hermosillo in Mexico. We've produced battery-grade lithium carbonate, which is key to the Asian offtake industry. And so we're progressing from a plus or minus 25% study to a plus or minus 15% study, which is this feasibility that we will complete by Q1 2017. Okay, so just clarify, this is battery grade. So what, this is the highest grade you can get? Uh, this is battery, well, highest grade is 99.99. If you're a stressful industry like yourself, you would take uh, lithium pills every day to chill you out. This is battery grade 99.5. It's for the EV industry. It's for electric vehicles. It's for portable electronics and it's for grid storage. How far is Bacanora going to get into the business of, of supplying the end user? I mean, clearly you're, you're not going to make the batteries, presumably, but what is it you're going to supply to the next company down the chain? So, so we're going to supply a 99.5% product, which goes into making the cathode in the, in the battery. So basically so, the anode and the cathode, the, the, the lithium component is the cathode. So you're going to be doing the processing as well. So, so the processing plants will be what, on site? On site in Mexico. Okay. Let's talk about the, the, the cost of, of getting this operation up and running. Um, you've got to buy machinery and you've got to build the mine, of course, and then, of course, you've got to build all the processing equipment to go with it. How much is going to be involved in that? Okay. So, so the main thing in this is to do as much preparation work as you can. We're very Mexico-centric. There's a, there's a lot of heavy industry in Mexico, so we're going to focus on sourcing as much as we can from Mexico. So of the $240 million capital cost, that builds the mine, that builds the pre-concentration plant, and builds the final lithium carbonate processing plant. And what sort of support are you getting from the authorities in Mexico? Uh, this will have the impact on, on the local industry. About 350 local jobs will be one of, one of the largest mining companies in that part of the world. So it's lots of support from government, both for infrastructure, approvals, pushing the project forward as, as fast as we can. And, and where is the, who's going to take the, the end product that you're going to supply? What, what sort of offtake um, deals are you likely to get? What, what does the industry expect? Okay, so 95% of the world's batteries are made in Asia, China, Korea and Japan. So this is a very Asian focused market. We produce the product in Hermosillo in Mexico, gets to a port in Mexico and then shipped across to Asia in uh, 20 ton containers. Uh, it's going to be the big battery manufacturers. It's going to be the names that you hear all the time on the on the TV. It's going to be Panasonic or Samsung or LG, the the, the big end users in Asia. What about America? I mean, surely we're hearing some big plants going up there. We know that Tesla's built a the Gigafactory, which is going to demand a lot of this product. Is that not going to be one of the companies you're aiming for? Ninety-five percent of the world's batteries are made in Asia. We're going to focus predominantly on the Asian market short term. If there's opportunity down the track in the States, then we'll look at that. Okay. Um, you're also producing potassium sulphate, I believe, ultimately going into the fertilizer industry. industry. How Correct. much of that is going to be taking up your time? I mean, are you primarily lithium? Is that where most of your income is going to be from? Or do you see potassium sulphate as, a, as another big part of the business? No, it's just a nice little co-product. It gives us some additional revenue. But our, our focus is battery-grade lithium carbonate. We're focusing on that. The, the market is growing at about 10% year on year. The world needs somewhere between 15 and 20,000 tonnes of new production every year. That's the market we're focusing on. So on, on the back of that, how easy do you think it's going to be to raise the money when you come to, uh, to, to, to get what you need to build the plant? It's a case of meeting milestones. We've done the pre-feasibility. We need to source an off-taker or off-takers. We need to finish the bankable feasibility. So meet our milestones, demonstrate project economics, show the growing market, 
show that prices continue to firm, which they have done for the last five years, then we'll look at the market. Okay. As I said at the top, you're listed on the uh, Venture Exchange in, in Canada, aren't right. you? And the AIM market here in London. My understanding is that you, the predominance of volume goes through London, is that Correct. right? Yes. What are you saying to those investors and those that are dancing around the edge wanting to look at an opportunity here in this particular space? What do you say to people about the investment case now? Because there's still a lot of water to flow under the, under the bridge, I think, isn't mm. there? We have to look at the fundamentals of the project. Does it make sense? And, and being a quarter to cost producer, it shows fundamental growth uh, of the company. Look at the team, look at the people who are putting it together. Have they done it before? Hopefully they have, um, and we have. And then look at how quickly the battery market is growing. Look at how much money is put into these, these big factories you're talking about. And so where is the growth? And so the world needs at least two new lithium projects in the next five years. Bacchanora wants to be one of them. And you, uh, let's, let's, let's get this straight, there's no exit strategy, you're going for production, you're going to be a producer, you're going to stay independent basically. We, we, we build mines. This will be my sixth mine in the last 30 years. Uh, this will be, yes, a great milestone. And you're supported by people of a like background to yours or are you supported by people that know the capital markets and know this business more? At, at this stage we're looking at people who have built lithium projects before. Yeah. People who have worked in North America or South America in, in the big producers people who have developed mines, built mines and operated mines. Look, Peter, we've got to end it there, but thanks indeed for joining us. Pleasure. Peter Sacker is the uh, Chief Executive of Bacanora Minerals.